Yo, welcome back to another how-to video. Today we're gonna be talking about how to sync your PS4 controller to your uh, Windows 10 computer or your PC or laptop or whatever that is. Uh, I'm gonna start off by talking about how to do this through Bluetooth. However, if you don't have Bluetooth options, you can just connect via um, a wire. Um, I'll talk about that as we go, but first, before we get started, what you're gonna wanna do is go to inputmapper.com slash downloads. Um, at the very bottom of the page here, you can see uh, is this little download window. Uh, the one I'm using is Input Mapper 1.6.10, however, uh, if there's a new version, I suggest using that one. That's, this just happens to be the one that's out right now. Clicking on that will take you through to this other page. Uh, make sure you go over here and click download. This is just showing you all the information for the file that you're going to download. Uh, once you get to this page, it has a license agreement on it that says uh, no donation required, but if you wish to say thank you. Uh, Donate $2 or more, we will upgrade your account so there is no longer showing an ad in the application. When we get to the application, I'll show you the ad. It's not horrible, so I definitely suggest um, just saving your $2 if you don't have the $2 to donate. Make sure you click accept and then download the file and go ahead and install that. Once you get to that point, I just have it installed right here, but before we go ahead and open that, we're going to want to connect the PS4 to your computer or laptop or whatever you're going to want to do that with. Um, skip these steps if you're not doing the Bluetooth connection. Um, if you're just going wired, go ahead and just plug your controller into your computer and then wait for it to install the regular software through your PC and then uh, I'll tell you what to do after this. If you are going through uh, Bluetooth, make sure you open your Bluetooth settings and make sure your Bluetooth is turned on. In order to get the PS4 controller in Bluetooth mode, hold the PS button and the share button in at the same time until uh, you see your the light bar on the front start flashing kind of sporadically. That means that it is in pairing mode. Once you have that, click add Bluetooth device. Um, we're going to click right here on Bluetooth and then your controller should pop up in here shortly. Hopefully mine pops up down here in just a second. Okay, so you can see down here is wireless controller. We're going to click on that and it will sync the PS4 controller. Setting up device, go ahead and let it run through that. So it says right here connected, um, but you're gonna have no control over your computer with this. You can move with your D-pad, you can kind of do some stuff, but you're not gonna get as much control as you would out of an Xbox controller, especially when you go to play, play a game because it's not recognizing your controller as a controller right now, especially the joysticks feature. So now that you have your controller either plugged into the computer or synced via Bluetooth, go ahead and open Input Mapper. And this ad down here is actually the $2 banner that you can pay to have removed. Um, obviously you can see it's kind of off to the, it's at the very bottom and you're not going to look at that anyway. So really it's not much of an issue. Yeah, so once you get this program open, go ahead and hit the PlayStation button on your controller. Uh, you might have to do it twice. Hit it once and it will flash in this, you'll get this notice right here that says it's in exclusive mode. If you hit it again, it will actually connect and the orange light bar will turn on. Um, and now you can see up here is your controller. Uh, if you click on it, you can change the different options, but what we're going to do is go to profiles and I'm going to show you how to remap this. You're going to get a lot of pop-ups over here because uh, your computer is confused thinking that you're on a, an Xbox controller. If you click profile, you can edit it. Here is the controller that you're running right now. Any of these buttons can be remapped, so triangle obviously is making it a Y button, but if you click on that, you can, you can choose any of the options. You can make it a mouse button if you want, a media option, keyboard option. But by default, it is going to run it like it's an Xbox 360 controller. So when you go to open up a game and you go to play a game, it's going to say all the Xbox controls in game. So hopefully you know your PlayStation controller very well and you know the game you're going to play. But you can see up here is a signal. If I get the controller too far away from the computer, the signal should go down. This one might be dead because I was playing quite a bit. But hopefully if you have any questions, you can just leave them in the comment section below. Uh, if this doesn't end up working out for you, or this stops working, or the link stops working, please be sure to let me know and I'll remove the link and I'll, or I'll look for a new link. Also, one last thing, make sure you leave this program open as long as you're losing, using a game. If you minimize it, it'll it'll essentially close out of it. You'll just get this little controller down here. It tells you your battery information and all, everything. And as we close this video, I want to say thank you to the Hardware Junkies. I found this information on their channel originally. It was just kind of an, a dated video and it was a little bit confusing, so I wanted to rehash on some of that. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions or comments, you know uh, where the comment section is below. All the information I talked about should be in the description. If it's not, call me out on it and I'll update it. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace out.